we get a flat out here, we're still screwed. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another exciting episode. Uh, fishing with Lunkers TV. Uh, That's right. I know you guys love the adventures that we go on. You like when we go out and we tag team those bass out there. Uh, but let me just update you on our current situation. Let's just take a gander at the road right now. We for shit. We don't. We've never been here. We don't know where the boat ramp is. We have no cell service, and we're taking a shot in the dark that this is the road going towards the lake. So let that be known. Let that sink in. This is a lake we've never been to, obviously. This road has been maintained since 1950. Yeah. We talked to a guy the other day. It was like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. That, 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 lake. that lake has got Mondo's. He's got there. Just flip it. And bam. We're starting to question that a little bit. Uh, if it is the case, this will be a phenomenal okay. uh, fishing I, video. I've never seen. Uh, were you at a cattle barn? <laughs> what the hell? Are we in the right spot? I want everybody to know this is not a private lake at all. This no. is public. <laughs> I am very much so now worried that we're on somebody's land. <laughs> I am not, and, and not uh, going to the boat ramp. <laughs> it said county road, so let's just hope we get down there and there's a boat ramp. Yeah, cattle that's, trail or that's something. Gonna, that's going to help me find fish. The town we went through like 45 minutes ago looked barren like a ghost town. Like literally you hear about old Texas ghost towns. Yeah, that was, that's pretty much it. Dude. It says something about limestone sponsored by geologist. Okay. What? This lake actually is like, looks like a giant cattle farm. <laughs> Like, this is, what the heck? <laughs> I don't even know if I turn on the engine in this lake. No, no you don't. Uh, oh my god, I fished this lake. We've been a sh No, I you have not. Lake. No, you have not. Yes, I have. Shut up. I fished this lake before I went to the army. What? This is really shallow over here. You're kidding me, dude. You know dude. how many fish I caught here? When you were at Fort Hood? No, before I went to the army, I was like 17. I know that because that big rock pile in the middle, I ran into it with my buddy's boat. I didn't catch a single fish here. That I, is the most random, oh my god, weird I, flashback. Oh, I remember this. I didn't catch a single fish here. It's back before you had skills, dude. Oh, this is this is. Oh no, I fished here. <laughs> this is oh, the. I have never oh. been with anybody just that just hard. like flashback. Like, I have fished here, like a decade ago. I didn't remember. Oh, Twelve years ago. Oh, this is wild. Ago. This, this is, is wild. Like this is so shallow right here. Like see where those rocks are? Yeah. I've 100% put a boat up on top of those. This video just got way more interesting. This could go two different directions. It could be like Rob's first time out here. Or it I, could be a whole new experience. I can't believe I drove all the way out here and didn't know. Whoo! Hoot mini! There is a park. There's a look. There's a table and a trash can. Oh, I know. We come bearing great news right now. <laughs> it's honestly when we were pulling in we both had this look on our face like dude I don't think there's a boat ramp I don't even know where we're going right now we get here not only that I've never been so happy to actually see another boat on the water you know on the weekends you get out there and you're like oh man it's gonna be crowded I don't want to see anybody else but so that's very good news the water is fairly stained um, but it's got like a chalkiness to it and we got a haze today, so that's also another good good day for moving baits. When I'm looking at this, we got a light chop. I'm thinking spinner bait, chatter bait, maybe a crank bait, square bill, something like that. There's a ton of uh, rock and brush out in this lake. It looks like so stuff that's going to be able to deflect off cover, get a reaction strike. You always have an idea. Sometimes it works out. Other times you have to really switch things up and uh, do some angling to try to figure out. Uh, what the fish are really going to bite on, but we're going to find out very shortly. Power on, electronics on, yep. red thing on. All right, we got the mud stickers in. Yeah, water temp's chilly. I wouldn't. Uh, 51, yep, still cold. They're not spawning. <laughs> yep, they're not spawning. <laughs> you were thinking they were spotted. No, they're not. Uh, I might throw a trap on these rocks. So, you just want to go down the rocks real quick? Do we yeah, don't yeah. need to grab anything at the gate? Yeah, let's just do it. Let's start off with a lipless you know crank here, guys. Drag and rip, drag and rip. 
I don't know what to throw it out there, ladies and gentlemen. The water tip was like 51 and a half. Got him. Yes. 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 Out the main lake. Yes. Could be a good one. I just I broke know. off and Rob's hooked up. Hey, baby. You got a fish. Hey, baby. Oh, you got a fish. Yeah. Hey, you about fell backwards on the boat. Get, get on in here with your red lips. There we go. You broke off. We caught first fish of the day. Yeah. Hey. Good, 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 good. You have some cranks? Yeah, I got some. Since we got so much rock, I'm thinking a crankbait might be a good choice right now. Since I broke off my lipless. I keep seeing some fish on the electronics. I think we're gonna put a little deeper diving crankbait on first just to see how that goes and then maybe try a shallow as well. So we got two different ones, a little chartreuse color to them since this water's real dinge. It's now raining. Wasn't expecting that. Hey, sometimes life throws you curves. It's windy and it's cold, way colder than we anticipated. Hand movements, extremity movements, pretty tough right now. Currently we've been fishing slow with the jigs. I got a black and blue jig right there. Rob's throwing a jig as well. I tried throwing the crankbait and uh, haven't got anything as of yet. Literally just trying to get out of the wind right now so we could warm up a little bit. I think the wind is supposed to switch out of the south here in a few hours. One fish in the boat, but we're not giving up. We've come too far. I dressed for summer. <laughs> Look at Rob's pants. Look at that. Look at that great shot of Rob walking over with his, his pants <laughs> that are literally meant for like South Florida jogging in the morning. All right, I'm gonna crawl up here. Oh, gonna get a little stretch. Uh, talk to nature, give a little la, 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 la. Just gotta let that out sometimes. And then you'll catch them. You just gotta get that out. Switching gears here, throwing spinner baits and moving baits on this windy, very windy dam. Is that a fish? Oh, oh my God, that's a nice fish. There we go. Hey, that looks like, oh! God dang, dude. That thing was freaking pulling. Come on, baby. Come on. So that entire area is a not gonna happen zone. I can't tell if they're like, there's only a few feet of water on them or not though. See, that's the issue. Can I say something to the fishing oh, freaks? The Sorry, I didn't really oh, no, I'm myself. recording. Cause I just, this was a moment where I, I realized Rob's bass fishing intelligence has really sparked up in the last few years. We were coming back here, we we're like, hey, let's give this a shot. These trees, these creek channels, you know, maybe they'll stage here. However, think about this guys. Michael Phelps, he could probably get to the boat ramp. I don't know, maybe take him I, I don't 30 even... minutes. A bass could probably get there in like five to 10. Five. Easy, five. like just on an easy cruise. This isn't like a giant lake where they'd have to come way up in a creek arm you know and they're basically sticking there they're staying uh they could be anywhere they want to be uh, out here pretty quick so they're gonna they're gonna reside in that nice sweet spot zone which i think we hit it the first fish rob had deep it was kind of not shallow water but it was mid it was yeah and, and close to deeper water why would they want to come all the way back here anyway i just want to commend rob on his i just really Hey! Jesus, what the? Hey! There was something there. I think somebody's messing with us a little bit. <laughs> yep. I think that was a get the hell out of my creek uh, explosion. Yep. Why? I don't know. I don't know. That was a warning. A Got warning it. pop. <laughs> yep. People over here on the shoreline are. Uh, yeah, they are trying to hit us with fireworks. This is weird. They're shooting these things out. All of a sudden we come back here and it's like, they're just firing away. The only time I've ever been shot at or fired upon is East Texas. I got a, it's a whole new region. Probably some kids on meth or something up there having a good, <laughs> having a good, Time. Oh, there's a stump. <laughs> but, uh, 
Anyway, we're gonna mosey on out of here. Probably been one of the most interesting uh, fishing days uh, of non-fish catching that I've had in a long time. Glad you guys are along for the ride. I just want to catch one now. This is ridiculous. Yes. 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 Oh yes. my gosh. The struggle. The struggle. Oh my lands on a square bill. That's a miracle fish. Oh. A miracle fish. You don't hold him. He's struggling. <laughs> He's struggling. Tell you what. That's a big fish right there. I mean, not size-wise, but freaking monumental. Tales from the crypt, man. It's been a real barn burner today, huh? <laughs> oh, I just got smoked. I got him. Do you? I got him. Oh, oh, oh yeah. God. It's oh, a crappie. crappie. It's a crappie. Yeah, you get your you, you get in here, crappie. You, yeah, that's a giant. Hey, that's a tasty one. Look at that. Wow, I'll take it. I'll back up just so you I'll can. I'll take it. Is how cold is Let's he? Let's take that in, feel it. You want to cook him? It's like a cold you dinner make plate. Make it a catch and cook. Why well, this, this was another day. Look at look how windy it is, guys. You can see his <laughs> fins just going to town right now. That's where we're at. He's like he's underwater swimming, oscillating. <laughs> Oh, y'all, it's been a long day, it's I tell you what. Bird. It's been a long day. I will take that crappie. That's oh a photo. God. I just got crushed. You got crushed by a crappie? Crushed. Spot like it, man. We're on a school. I got a fish. Did I got you, another bass. Back-to-back -back cast. Bass? I think it's a bass. Back-to-back, -back, baby. It oh, it is. It's a bass. Back-to-back -back -back basser. Oh, no. Sorry, sprung oh, species. Yeah. Oh, I got him on the outside of the face. Oh. Hey, hey now. Hey, hey now. He's very cold. That is one thing in common with all these fish today. Super, super cold. On the exact same spot where Rob caught the first fish, where we thought it was going to be on fire, and then it turned out not to be on fire. Maybe we should just never I will take that one. one. My gosh. Let me give that one a full blown face sniff. If I didn't know you, I'd say you're freaking. Yes. Yep. Yes. There he is. Yes. 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 Th this is the one. This is the spot. Oh, is that a crappie? No, 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 no it's good. It's a bass. a bass. Get him! Get him! Whoa! <laughs> oh, I cannot believe that just happened. <laughs> Not again. Not Yes! Oh. Yes! Square bill! Hey, yes! You should have been throwing square bill shots yes. all day. Got him. Yep. That's a good fish. That's a lot better than the last one. That's just, oh! No! Dang it! Oh, I've got some. Got him. Got him? Oh gosh, is that a big one? Yeah, I got it. Dude, that's a big one. Come on. Get him up. He's behind a tree. Just keeping him up. Are you moving? Here he comes. Got, Here he comes. Off, Here comes. Come on, come on. Where's he at? Oh, oh yeah. Good fish. There we go. There we go. There we go. Get his face. Yes. There we go. 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 Put something together. Look at that fish, guys. There we go. Look at that fish. Rackley, putting pieces to a puzzle together, my friend. That is a <laughs> fat one, dude. Yes. Woo! Whoa! That feels so good. Mm. There we go. Hey, look at him. Fish? Yeah, oh, I just had one. He's got smoke, too? It's probably one of those. Yeah. Twirler. Tip of the day, always check your lure before you deploy it. Check and deploy. Oh, oh. oh gosh, I got one on the tree. Did you get Yeah, he's hung. He's hung? Yeah, dude, okay, I was in the tree crazy. and he, I still got him on. You got him on? Did yeah. You get him? I was bouncing it off the tree and he came up and smoked it. Oh, no, I, just, I just literally just got I think he came out. He's off? Uh, no, I still got him. No, he's on the back of the tree. Get around. There we go. Yep. There we go. Hey, ho! I was just on that branch right there and I paused it. And that fish smoked it. Hong Square Bill. Switch the colors up a little bit. Rob's been getting them on that gold. Just put a little chartreuse in there. 
There we go. It is. It is a fish? Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. There it is. Dude, they, fish are freaking. Fish activated. Fish have activated. He must have been behind like a log or something. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. I'm on the deck of the boat. You want to take the troll motor for me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was a good fish. Hey, we just got back-to-back -back fish. This is like an unbelievable game. It's not like, you know, we've def we've had Where's fish catches way better days, but it's like the what has happened. Yeah. Make like, what it is. What in the world? Oh, what? what? Was that the last cast? <laughs> yeah. Last cast. The freaking hybrid, dude. What? Dude, I stopped it right at the boat heater from the hill. Oh, I got to cast again now. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> that's got to be hybrid, yeah. yeah Look how big that thing is. Oh, yeah, these are for sure hybrids. If there's two like that, that same size. Oh, baby! We turned a mountain of doo-doo into a glorious shrine today. Oh. Heading on in, it feels so good. Give me a high five, buddy. Oh, yes! I'll give you a little bit more detail when we get back to the casa. I just want to say that me and Rob We've had, some, we've had some pretty crazy days on the water. We've, we've had some really tough days on the water, really good days on the water. Today was very unique because it was so tough. We were like cast away from being like, let's just go. We drove all this way, but let's just go because this isn't working out. So let's try one more thing, one more thing, one more thing until bam, and we started hooking up. And then the pattern just arose before us. That was freaking awesome to experience. And uh, we're gonna be talking about this day for a long time, probably down the road when we're in another situation like, <laughs> man, I don't know, remember that one time? We didn't give up right there and then things changed. So anyway, if you guys have had a day like that, let me know in the comments, but for sure, big learning experience today. You always gotta learn something when you're on the water, but today we learned a lot. Now that we're back in the tackle cave, I just wanted to share with you guys you know, something that I learned today that I thought was really interesting because we went hardcore on jigs for like four or five hours. After a while, we really figured out fish are not gonna be going out in the silty, deeper water. There's nothing out there. It's just sand and silt. You know, fish do not like that. I'll tell you guys that. The rocks that were up shallow, they didn't cascade out very far into the water. So we pretty much knew within you know, four or five feet of that bank. That's where the fish should be, and we hit that hard uh, with the stick ups and, and the rocks with jigs for a long time. Because Rob got that one right off the bat on a jig, and I broke off my lipless crankbait, and I said, you know what, I'll just stick with the jig too. You just gotta bite. So, I stuck with that with way for way too long. I did have one whack going that deeper diving crankbait, and I thought it might have just been like, a fish just bumping into it. I did, really didn't take that as a bite and I didn't run with it. I threw the square bill for a little bit, but not enough. So later later in the day, we just picked up square, square bills and got on a windy area um, and actually went back to this one of those same areas where we caught fish earlier on the jigs and it started working very well. I don't know if that's because of the, if the fish may, might have been suspended uh, I'm not really sure, but definitely keep that in your arsenal. You know, I ran into a fishing freak the other day at Cabela's. His name was JJ, and he said he just caught his personal best on a square bill, and it was a sexy shad square bill that he was throwing. It could be just one of those days where it's windy, just the water conditions. You know, I personally, I love to throw chatterbaits and spinnerbaits a lot in those conditions when you have windy type areas and the bait's moving a little bit and the water's getting above 52. Today, the warmest we saw was 54, and the square bill is really doing it for that. So I would, if I had to put like a principle to it, I would say the rocks might be better for those lipless, uh, lipless, well not lipless, but square bill crankbaits. I don't have the exact one that I was using, that was one of Rob's, but basically this right here. And Rob was throwing a gold color, it definitely did uh, better. It had kind of like a gold, a uh, black back, a white belly, a little chartreuse on it. Uh, but there's all sorts. I, I preferred ones with rattles in the springtime. I prefer ones without rattles in the summer and fall. Uh, but th that basically right there was getting it done today. And you guys can obviously go check out Rob's video. You can see uh, the exact rod he was throwing. He was actually throwing it on a rod that I really like for throwing square bills. Uh, but I kept it really simple. Just carried two rods with me today. I <laughs> wasn't planning on throwing square bills that much. Springtime's changing constantly, constantly, constantly. So just keep switching it up. 
until something works. Go with the conditions. Don't get locked into one thing, and I think you'll find yourself catching more fish. So we are going to end it on that message right there, fishing freaks. And bass fishing is about to get really good. I'm super excited. Living down here in the south, being in Texas, it's it kicks off pretty early, so I'm really excited about that. And of course, we have the Mexican videos coming at you soon, y'all. I'm super pumped going down there with my dad. I've got reports, it's supposedly phenomenal. You guys are gonna see that next. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more action, and I'll see you guys on the next one.